guys, it's Brooklyn from Brooklyn and Bailey, but today I'm going to be doing a hairstyle. A lot of you guys have been asking me how I do my hair when I have it in braids and then I have little buns. Let's see if I can pop up a picture here. I might have one. This is what it looks like. A lot of you guys have been asking me about how I do my hair like that, and I thought I would do a quick tutorial on what that looks like. So right now I have my hair just in these Dutch braids, so I'm just gonna take those out and show you guys how I do the um, Dutch braids into the bun. So the first thing I do is I pull out a little piece of hair right here in the front, and then I just take a little section at the very base of my hair. I part my hair down the middle as well. It's not a beautiful part, I don't care. I'm not super particular about it being really pretty um, but I do part it down the middle okay and then I take this little section and I separate it into three small sections and I cross one side under the other side under and then I pull some hair into it like so so that is called a Dutch braid. I'm sure my mom has tutorials on how to do Dutch braids if you guys want to go check them out but all I'm doing is adding hair into the side pieces and crossing them underneath as I braid. That's all that a Dutch braid is. It's essentially a French braid. You're just pulling the pieces underneath instead of on top like you would with a French braid. Okay, and if I'm looking down, it's because I have a mirror in front of me so that I can see what I'm doing. I just continually pull pieces of hair in like so, just continuing that braid all the way down my head. I try to keep the braid pretty close to the side of my head instead of like pulling it back. I know some people braid like straight back. I am braiding, I don't know if you can see, I am braiding like straight down. So I am just pulling pieces in like so to make that go down my head instead of to the side. And then I just keep doing that all the way down. What I did here is I just pull out a little soft piece around my face just to give my face like more framing. I like um, when my face is super soft. Um, some people do not. Some people like it when their braids are super tight. I don't. I like it when my braids are super soft. So I left pieces out around my face. And I don't mind if my braids are kind of messy either. That doesn't bother me. Okay, and then I'm just gonna keep doing my braid all the way down, pulling my last final pieces in at the bottom. And then what I do is I braid it a couple of times to complete the braid. Oop, my fingers got all stuck. I braid it just a couple of times, like so, like that. But instead of braiding all the way down, what I do is I take it and I just twist it like this and I let it twist up on itself. But instead of like making it super tight, I kind of let the twist fall down just a little bit like that. And then what I do is I take a rubber band and I just wrap it up and it creates this soft little bun right here at the bottom of my head. Okay, I had to take a momentary pause because my camera died, but I finished my Dutch braid here and I just tied it up into this little tiny like bun knot here. So that is pretty much how you do the hairstyle, but I like to go through and just like pull out the ends of my braid like this and uh, fluff it a little bit, it's called pancaking, like so pancake, 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 and just make it a little bit fluffier so that it's got some more texture to it and it looks a little fluffier from the front. So my hair is super dark, but this is what it looks like from the side. I don't know if you can see it. So now I'm just gonna repeat the same things on this side. So I am just gonna pull out a piece in the front. I have these little pieces that kind of match. Um, and then again, I'm just gonna pull a small section off the top of my head very front top. I'm gonna split it into three so that I can braid. Pull the outer piece under, pull the outer piece under, and then start adding hair to that outer piece. And this is again just called a Dutch braid. For anybody that doesn't know how to do it and might want to learn, you can just look up on my mom's videos how to Dutch braid um, and it'll teach you on YouTube. So you just keep adding hair into the underneath, pulling those pieces under like so. And again, I'm just keeping 
close to the front of my head because I don't really want it to like get hidden going backwards. Pulling in pieces, I'm braiding. Again, I'm gonna kind of pull out a section right by my ear so that it frames my face. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but I'm just pulling in sections of the hair and then crossing the piece underneath like so. You can do these braids really tight if you want to. I like them kind of messy. It doesn't bother me if they're messy or kind of frizzy or fluffy or whatever. I'm down to my last piece, so I'm just gonna braid that piece in like so. Braid it down a couple of, I don't know what these are called, like little sections. Just cross over and under a couple times and then I am going to start twisting to create that bun and then I let it fold in on itself like so. Kind of twist it up and instead of like trying to flatten it against the head, I kind of let it fall um, like that so that it creates the little like hanging bun that I want it to look like and then I just literally put a big rubber band around it because I want it to be kind of loose and messy and that creates my little side buns. And then again, I don't know if you can see the difference between this braid and this one, but this one's been pulled out and pancaked. This one has not. So I'm going to go through and pull out and pancake those pieces just to kind of give them extra fluff and a little bit of texture. Just pulling them out a little bit like so, just so that they like just have that added texture and they look a little messier because that's how I like them. There you have my little braided bun hairstyle. This is what the final hairstyle looks like for those of you who are going to want more of like a close-up look. So I have the bun, then I have the braid, then I have it in the front and I don't care about it being a little frizzy and a little messy. I kind of like it like that. My hair is kind of dark so I'm trying to get it like in the light for you guys. But this is what it looks like when it's all finished. Thank you guys so much for watching. You can see way more hairstyles um, if you stick around and watch every week. Um, my mom has a ton of other hairstyles if you also wanna check those out just on her channel. Um, be sure to like and subscribe, all the fun things, and we'll see you later. Bye guys. Mwah.